What are mineral prospecting methods? Mineral prospecting methods encompass a range of techniques used to identify and evaluate the presence of economically viable mineral deposits in the Earth's crust. These methods are vital for exploration companies and mining operations in their quest to locate valuable minerals such as gold, silver, copper, iron, and others. Prospectors employ a combination of traditional geological knowledge, modern technologies, and innovative approaches to uncover potential mineral resources. Here are some key mineral prospecting methods. Geological mapping. Geological mapping involves studying the surface features, rock types, and structures of an area to identify potential mineralization. Geologists examine the distribution of rock formations, faults, folds, and other geological features that may indicate the presence of mineral deposits. Geophysical surveys. Geophysical surveys use various techniques to measure the physical properties of rocks and minerals beneath the Earth's surface. Methods such as magnetometry, gravity surveys, electromagnetic AM, surveys, and seismic surveys can help identify subsurface anomalies associated with mineralization. Remote sensing. Remote sensing techniques involve the use of aerial and satellite imagery to detect surface features and alterations that may indicate the presence of minerals. Remote sensing can identify mineral signatures such as vegetation anomalies, soil discoloration, and geological structures that are associated with mineral deposits. Geochemical sampling. Geochemical sampling involves collecting and analyzing rock, soil, water, and vegetation samples to detect the presence of trace elements or chemical signatures associated with mineralization. Techniques such as soil sampling, stream sediment sampling, and rock chip sampling can provide valuable information about the geochemical environment and potential mineral deposits. Drilling Drilling is a direct method of mineral exploration that involves extracting core samples from the subsurface to evaluate the geological characteristics and mineral content of an area. Diamond drilling, reverse circulation drilling, and percussion drilling are commonly used techniques to explore deeper into the Earth's crust and delineate mineral deposits. Airborne and ground-based surveys. Airborne surveys utilize aircraft equipped with specialized sensors to collect data over large areas quickly and cost-effectively. Ground-based surveys involve conducting detailed measurements and observations on the ground using instruments such as handheld X-ray fluorescence, XRF, analyzers and spectrometers to identify mineral signatures. Remote sensing and GIS integration. Integrating remote sensing data with geographic information systems, GIS, allows prospectors to analyze and visualize spatial patterns and relationships between geological, geophysical, and geochemical data layers. This integrated approach facilitates data interpretation and decision-making in mineral exploration. Mineralogy and petrology studies, detailed mineralogical and petrological studies involve analyzing thin sections of rock samples under a microscope to identify mineral assemblages, textures, and alteration patterns that provide insights into the formation and potential of mineral deposits. Exploration modeling and targeting, exploration modeling techniques use geological, geophysical, and geochemical data to develop predictive models and target areas with the highest potential for mineralization. These models help prioritize exploration efforts and minimize risks associated with mineral prospecting. Environmental and social impact assessments. Environmental and social impact assessments are conducted to evaluate the potential environmental and social implications of mineral exploration activities. These assessments consider factors such as land use, biodiversity, water quality, and community relations to ensure responsible and sustainable exploration practices. Overall, mineral prospecting methods encompass a multidisciplinary approach that combines geological, geophysical, geochemical, and remote sensing techniques to systematically identify and evaluate mineral resources for exploration and mining purposes. Continued advancements in technology and interdisciplinary collaboration play a crucial role in improving the efficiency and effectiveness of mineral exploration efforts worldwide. How are mineral prospecting methods done? Mineral prospecting methods are conducted through a systematic and multidisciplinary approach that involves several steps and techniques. 
Here's a detailed overview of how mineral prospecting is typically done. Study Area Selection The first step in mineral prospecting is selecting an area for exploration. This selection process is often guided by geological knowledge, historical mining activities, existing mineral occurrences, and potential targets identified through remote sensing or geophysical surveys. Geological maps, satellite imagery, and existing geological data are commonly used to evaluate the geological potential of different regions. Desk-based research. Before conducting fieldwork, prospectors conduct desk-based research to gather existing geological, geophysical, and geochemical data relevant to the study area. This may include reviewing geological maps, reports, academic papers, and historical mining records to understand the geological setting, mineralization patterns, and exploration history of the area. Field reconnaissance. Field reconnaissance involves visiting the study area to conduct initial observations, map geological features, and identify potential mineralization indicators. Prospectors examine surface geology, rock outcrops, soil characteristics, vegetation patterns, and topographic features to identify prospective targets for further investigation. Geophysical surveys Geophysical surveys are conducted to measure the physical properties of rocks and minerals beneath the Earth's surface. Techniques such as magnetometry, gravity surveys, electromagnetic IM, surveys, and seismic surveys are used to detect subsurface anomalies associated with mineralization. Geophysical surveys help identify structural features, fault zones, and geophysical signatures indicative of potential mineral deposits. Geochemical sampling. Geochemical sampling involves collecting samples of rocks, soils, water, and vegetation from the study area to analyze their chemical composition. Samples are collected systematically from grid patterns or targeted areas based on geological features and anomalies identified during field reconnaissance and geophysical surveys. Geochemical analyses, including laboratory assays and in-field testing using portable instruments, help identify anomalous concentrations of minerals and trace elements associated with mineralization. Drilling Drilling is a direct method of mineral exploration used to collect subsurface data and evaluate the geological characteristics and mineral content of an area. Core drilling, reverse circulation drilling, and percussion drilling are commonly used drilling techniques to penetrate the Earth's crust and recover core samples for geological analysis. Drill core logging, sampling, and assay testing provide valuable information about the depth, grade, continuity, and geometry of mineral deposits. Data integration and interpretation. Once field data is collected, prospectors integrate and interpret geological, geophysical, and geochemical data to generate geological models and identify prospective targets for further exploration. Data interpretation involves analyzing spatial patterns, correlations, and anomalies to delineate potential mineralization zones and refine exploration targets. Exploration modeling and targeting. Exploration modeling techniques use geological, geophysical, and geochemical data to develop predictive models and prioritize exploration targets with the highest potential for mineralization. Prospectors use statistical analyses, machine learning algorithms, and geological concepts to identify favorable geological environments, mineralization controls, and exploration targets. Follow up exploration. Follow-up exploration involves conducting additional fieldwork, sampling, and drilling to validate exploration targets and advance the understanding of mineralization potential. Prospectors refine exploration targets based on new data and insights gained from follow-up exploration activities. Feasibility studies Feasibility studies are conducted to assess the economic viability and technical feasibility of mineral deposits identified during exploration. These studies involve evaluating factors such as mineral resource estimation, or grade, metallurgical testing, mining methods, infrastructure requirements, environmental considerations, and socioeconomic impacts to determine whether a mineral deposit can be developed into a profitable mining operation. Throughout the mineral prospecting process, prospectors collaborate with geologists, geochemists, geophysicists, engineers, 
environmental specialists, and other experts to integrate diverse datasets, apply specialized techniques, and make informed decisions about exploration strategies and targets. Continuous advancements in technology, data analysis, and exploration methods play a crucial role in improving the efficiency and effectiveness of mineral prospecting efforts worldwide. What are the types of mineral prospecting methods? Mineral prospecting methods encompass a diverse array of techniques and approaches used to identify and evaluate potential mineral deposits in the Earth's crust. These methods can be broadly categorized into several types, each with its unique principles, instruments, and applications. Here's a more detailed exploration of the types of mineral prospecting methods. Geological Methods Geological mapping, this involves studying the surface geology of an area to identify rock types, structures, and geological features that may indicate the presence of mineralization. Geological reconnaissance, field observations and mapping to identify geological indicators of mineral deposits such as alteration zones, vein systems, and rock formations associated with mineralization. Geophysical methods. Magnetic surveys. Measure variations in the Earth's magnetic field caused by magnetic minerals, helping to identify subsurface geological structures associated with mineral deposits. Gravity surveys, detect variations in gravitational force caused by differences in rock density, which can indicate the presence of dense mineral bodies such as or deposits. Electromagnetic, EM, surveys, measure variations in the Earth's electromagnetic fields to detect conductive mineral deposits such as sulfides. Seismic surveys, use seismic waves to image subsurface geological structures and identify potential mineralization zones. Geochemical methods. Soil sampling, collecting and analyzing soil samples to detect anomalies in trace element concentrations associated with mineralization. Stream sediment sampling, collecting sediment samples from streams and rivers to identify mineral anomalies carried downstream from potential mineral deposits. Rock chip sampling, collecting and analyzing surface rock samples to determine their mineral content and identify mineralized zones. Remote sensing methods. Satellite imagery analysis, analyzing satellite images to identify geological features, vegetation anomalies, and alteration patterns indicative of mineral deposits. Aerial photography, using aerial photography to map surface geology, geological structures, and land use patterns associated with mineralization. Drilling methods. Diamond drilling, core drilling using diamond-tipped drill bits to extract cylindrical core samples from the subsurface for geological analysis. Reverse circulation, RC, drilling drilling technique that uses compressed air to transport rock cuttings to the surface for sampling and analysis. Percussion drilling, drilling method that uses repeated hammering action to penetrate rock formations and collect samples for analysis. Integrated methods. Geological geophysical integration, combining geological mapping with geophysical surveys to enhance the understanding of subsurface geological structures and mineralization patterns. Geochemical Geophysical Integration, integrating geochemical sampling with geophysical surveys to identify anomalies and prioritize exploration targets. Remote Sensing GIS Integration, integrating remote sensing data with geographic information systems, GIS, to analyze spatial patterns and identify potential mineralization zones. Specialized Techniques Hydrogeochemical Surveys, analyzing groundwater chemistry to detect anomalies in dissolved elements associated with mineralization. Mineralogical and petrological studies, detailed microscopic analysis of rock and mineral samples to identify mineral assemblages, textures, and alteration patterns indicative of mineral deposits. Each type of mineral prospecting method has its advantages, limitations, and suitability for different geological settings and exploration objectives. Effective mineral exploration often involves the integration of multiple methods and interdisciplinary collaboration among geologists, geophysicists, geochemists, engineers, and other experts to maximize the chances of discovering economically viable mineral deposits.
Continuous advancements in technology and exploration techniques contribute to improving the efficiency and success rates of mineral prospecting efforts worldwide.